Hello, everyone, and welcome to Canada CPA Online Academy, sharing the wisdom. So we have a special guest today with us, Chris Booker. Uh, welcome, Chris. Thank you for doing this interview with us. Thank so Chris, uh, Chris is a, is a CPA and an executive coach. Uh, he, he loves working with accounting and finance professionals to help them uh, to be better at their jobs. And that includes the uh, the training towards uh, emotional intelligence as well. Uh, he has been in the accounting profession for over 25 years. So he has a lot of technical expertise as well as when you are working in these professions, uh, you, are, you have subordinates reporting to you, you grow as a person and you grow your emotional intelligence as well. So now he helps uh, other people to improve uh, their, their EQ side of it. And uh, he uh, teaches a course. He has joined forces with Shirzad uh, to offer like a group coaching uh, for accountants. And this is offered through an app that is a PQ app. And we will be talking more about that. So uh, welcome, Chris, and um, we'll, we'll get started. So yeah. before we jump into the program as such, would you like to tell us first, what is the need for EQ training? Like CPA is a very technically trained person, but what is the need for EQ training for accountants or for, I would say rather for everyone? What is, what is that need? Yeah, I, th I think especially, especially professionals and, and, and technical professionals like, uh, like accountants, um, we, we tend to downplay the importance of of emotional intelligence in our in our careers, uh, which is uh, which is a mistake. Because when we think about uh, how we really progress forward in our careers, how we gain this uh, th this competitive advantage uh, over over other people, um, it, it really amounts to how well we're able to control our thoughts. Mm -hmm. and our emotions in, uh, in, in really important moments. And that's essentially, I mean, when, when we talk about what emotional intelligence is, that, that's essentially what it is. I mean, first, it, it starts with awareness. Mm -hmm. So how, how aware are we about how our thoughts and our emotions are affecting you know, our actions and, and the decisions that, that we make in those important moments? Yep. And if, if somebody is strong in, in emotional intelligence, it, it doesn't really mean that, that they don't have negative emotions or emotions that, that don't support them. It, what it really means is that they're able to, to first of all, recognize, okay, hey, there, there's, there's a thought, there's emotion coming yeah. in here. I've had this before. Uh, and, 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 and they're able to say, okay, well, I'm going to deal with it differently this time. I'm going right. to move that negative emotion into, into a positive emotion. And that, um, uh, th that's huge because right. potentially, I mean, think of all of the important moments that, that we go through in our careers when we're, you know, if we're asking for a raise, mm -hmm. if, if we're, uh, you know, having a, a difficult conversation with a client or, or with a subordinate or the reverse with, with, with our, with our boss, Right. Uh, those clients, how, how we how we handle those conversations makes the difference in really in our careers. So sure. and, the, and the really cool thing, I think, about emotional intelligence, especially for, for accountants, is is, first of all, it's it's measurable. We can mm -hmm. actually measure your emotional intelligence and and you can improve it. I mean, we know that there are ways to 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 improve emotional intelligence and we know that basically for for emotional intelligence it's it's a much better predictor of our career success than than even iq right, right. so it's huge i, right. I think and, and and all of us i mean in 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 our workplace i mean organizationally speaking we've all had bosses that that have lower emotional intelligence and and they've they've affected the whole organization and they've affected our enjoyment of work. They've affected the progress of, of the organization. We all have we, we all have examples of that. So yeah. I, I think emotional intelligence and specifically improving emotional intelligence is is the most important thing that an accountant can do in their career. Yeah, yeah, 
very 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 true and like i think you pinpointed it very nicely that awareness is the very first step like even i tell whenever i'm dealing with my team it's like they say it's just stressful so i ask them the question identify what is making you that what is giving you is it that one task is it that one person is it that one email you just feel stressed but always stress has a root cause to something right like maybe you don't want to follow up and a, a tough accounts receivable you know that mm-hmm. could be the trigger it's just i just hate following up with people so then you when you are you become aware with that then you you uh, you can devise strategies to manage uh, that emotion and to grow uh, and rather i feel emotional intelligence is how to take out or separate the emotions from from your work environment and then how to deal with it so yeah, yeah but the awareness well is, is definitely definitely the first step um so uh well said yeah so everyone needs it that's that let's establish that everyone needs it so would you explain how this pq program works and what are the steps uh, for that yes uh, all right so this is a program that was developed by if you can see it here uh shirzad shamin mm-hmm. and he wrote a book uh, called positive intelligence and in this book he shared his his experience his um the the studies that he's done um all of the examples or some many of the examples that he's had where he's worked with companies using his methodology so he's mm-hmm. worked with some amazing companies uh he's worked with Microsoft Google uh Dun and Bradstreet he's worked with you know colleges like Stanford so this is this is a methodology uh that, that is very well tested Right. and a lot of people have have had uh, have, have had success with it um so how it works is i mean you mentioned it before that it's it's an app driven app driven uh course uh how it starts is everybody uh taking the course uh they start with uh, what what we call a saboteur assessment right so and shirzad he's he's identified uh, nine saboteurs and everyone who takes the the assessment um they're they're rated on each of those nine to see well where do they score sort of higher in terms of the saboteurs are affecting them more and and where is it is it less sort of worrisome and i i think a uh, the best way to describe uh, a saboteur i kind of think of it almost like i have a little devil on, mm-hmm. on my shoulder on now. your shoulder yeah. yeah right and and a saboteur it, it's it's really kind of an a, a habitual way of thinking and acting that has for most people all of their lives it's yes. uh, affected their the, their emotional intelligence so uh this this assessment itself uh, many people find that to be really really helpful yes definitely um now so so the the course itself it's uh it's a six week course uh delivered through the app and uh each week shirzad delivers uh an email through the app and uh and it's really intended to uh to sort of show the this scientific rationale and to explain his philosophy so in other words shirzad will explain uh how important your 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 judge your inner judge is to yeah. your work and that can be uh you know the the judge you know judging yourself it can be judging others it can be judging situations all of those really apply and how your your saboteur works in, in a in a pretty interesting but deadly way yeah. uh with with your judge to uh, basically lower your emotional intelligence to cause you to 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 not show up as your best self in in, in the moment mm-hmm. um so so really i mean you're the the course is intended to first of all build awareness we were talking about that as as being the first step um and then identifying kind of coming up with a strategy for how to 
deal with that negative saboteur when it shows up. And then the other part of it is, is kind of, if I can imagine it's, it's on my other shoulder and it's kind of like the angel mm-hmm. <laughs> at where, yeah. where uh, Shirzad is describing that as, uh, as, as the sage, because what we're trying to do uh, is we're trying to move the emotion from the saboteur to something that serves you in a better way. And we're calling that the sage. Right. And the sage is really cool because, I mean, the sage, uh, it, it uh, and, and everybody has this sage, it's part, different parts of it are, you know, empathy is the first part, to be able to empathize with yourself and to be able to empathize with others and, and the situation. Uh, another sage um, element is innovate. Mm-hmm. And often, you know, accountants will think, well, I'm not creative, but really yeah. you are. And it's yes, a matter yeah. of accessing that yep. creativity and, yep. and, and everybody can do it. So first of all, you sort of got to believe and acknowledge, all right, well, it's there. I am in different moments creative. And these are some examples and you can sort of build the evidence there. And then we have to find ways to, to, to access that. Right. So right. really, I mean, we're, we're so, so with, the, with the weekly videos that Shirzad delivers, um, that's the, let's say it's the explanation, it's the theory, it's, it's the, so the, the science behind his, his methodologies. Uh, and then where you get to really implement the training is in your daily practice. And that's right. also delivered through, through the app. And what you're really doing is, is that you're, you're learning to recognize your judge, to recognize your saboteur uh, when they show up, uh, catch them in the moment, this takes practice, and, and shift to a more positive, uh, to a more positive emotion. So, and then what's a really cool feature of, of, of the app is that it, it uh, measures the, the just, muscle yeah. that you're building. Yeah. So you always see as you, as you do more practice, you always say, Hey, my muscle is, my emotional yeah. muscle is building. That's really, really yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, so we have, uh, the, the training is really, it's done within a group. So everybody who signs up for the training will be assigned to a group of, of between five and six people uh, who are all taking the course at the same stage as you. Uh, and, and then I, as, as an executive coach uh, who's trained in the program, I uh, will offer uh, uh, coaching to the group um, once a week. And, and that's part of really to help people to implement what the, what the program is, is, is teaching. Everybody always, there, there's always questions. There's always, you know, things that people are going through that maybe they're, they're a little bit uncomfortable, possibly, you know, because you're dealing with emotions that yeah. maybe you haven't dealt with in the past. So uh, this is where I think the, the group coaching is, is really helpful. helpful. For yeah. yeah. Uh, what else about the program? So there's also, um, uh, there, there's also a, like a chat area. Uh-huh. Uh, for within the app where you're yeah. able to uh, like talk to different people in your group and, and sort of exchange notes, uh, you know, Hey, I'm, this has gone well, this has gone a little bit, not well, you know, how are you doing? How's your daily practice going and that kind of thing. So this is where I think the group aspect of the training um, is really valuable because you learn from other people. And, and it gives you accountability as well. The group group gives you yes. accountability. Yeah, totally. So accountability is, 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 is huge there. So basically we're as, as, a, as a leader of, of the group, uh, it's my responsibility to make sure that people are, are engaged yeah. to help them along with the training and, and e- even you know, posting on, on the chat board every day is, re- is really a helpful thing for, for many people. So I'm kind of like the, the leader slash coach slash facilitator for yeah. people as they, as they go through the program. And uh, I have taken this course with Chris and he's wonderful. Like uh, this whole journey, it's like, um, it's it's your path. You have to work, right? You have to take that initiative because the the, the identification is, is a self work, you know, but Chris was able to guide and give the little nudges to uh, things. And in a group setting, what others are going through also helps. So as you were saying, the saboteur assessment, it is very interesting because I think sometimes you know what your devil and angel or like what you can say weaknesses and strengths are. 
but uh, taking that assessment helped me to uh, i think think it in a different perspective like i always knew that i'm an overachiever you know like like from grade 1 i'm like first person in the class to <laughs> raise my hand you know but um, what i have never realized it's a good thing right that you are enthusiastic and you're participating in everything you want to achieve more that's a good thing but i have never realized that how much stress that causes to you as a person like it's when you are involved in everything that means you're taking too much on your plate mm -hmm. and then that that was that realization helped me that okay can i take a step back in this task can i delegate this can i say no to this i am empowered i don't have to say yes to everything uh whether it's at your home whether it's at your work or in general uh family situations or wherever so i think as you're saying awareness gives you that uh different perspective that once you become aware that i don't i am an overachiever so then i need to take a step back in certain situations where i don't need to i don't have to overcommit myself and then that becomes a angel side of it that then i i'm just focusing on concentrating on a few few uh, tasks which are really core or important to me and then i'm i'm not that much stressed either it gives me more energy to focus on fewer tasks so yeah. that's that's how the shift works and uh, i think so so that is an it's an over uh, going work like i know my Ju this june month has been crazy because of i gave, gave i said yes to too many things but then i learned okay that is too many but that that's what i'm saying it's like you take one step forward two step backwards it it is it it, it the journey is like that so it's like it's not that in 6 weeks you will be an angel it's not that the process goes on back and forth but uh, the the app and this program definitely gives you the right tools to think about it and keep working on on your saboteurs yeah mm, yeah thanks for that deepa yeah i i th i think with with emotional intelligence i think a lot of people would would say well okay fine so i'm at i'm at this level whatever that level is of, of yeah. emotional intelligence that's how i think about that right yeah. and and but i think a lot of people would say well but i can't really change that mm -hmm. i mean it is what it is i am what i am so in your case i am an overachiever this is just the way things are you know and and as you met pointed out that's a good thing i'm mean, gonna look at all the success i've had hey this yeah. is a fantastic thing yeah right but unless you're willing to um, unless you're willing to kind of sit with that mm -hmm. and and see, well, so there, there is this good side, but there's a point when it becomes not good. There's a point when it becomes a, the, uh, this, this saboteur. Yeah. And if I'm able to address this, look at all of the things that will open up for me. Right. So it's really, I mean, as you pointed out, I mean, that, that, that awareness is so important. The other kind of thing that, that's key, a, a lot of these patterns that we have, the, these thought patterns, they're, they're in our subconscious. I mean, mm -hmm. we practice them so long, we, yeah, don't even, yeah. we don't even recognize them anymore. And it just becomes, all, it all becomes shoved into, into this category of, well, that's me. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. who I am. Right. And I think uh, the way the app shows, like the muscle, you know, EQ muscle, I love that analogy because like, uh, if you have been a believer, I'm a weak person. I'm not a. I'm not an athlete, or I'm not a runner. But if mm. you run consistently for a month, you will definitely move from point A to B. But uh, in those of there is a physical evidence, right, uh, that your muscle gets built. You can lift the weight after a month. But in emotional side of things, it is tricky to measure. So it is very important to understand that as you can work on your physical strengths and you can change from being a non-athlete to maybe you won't be a marathon runner, but definitely if you're uh, absolutely not running, you may, may go from zero to one kilometer. That is, that is, that yeah. is the progress. Similarly on emotional side also, you can move from point A to B. It's just the, the process needs work as 
like physical activity, you need to go to the gym, you need to go to run if you're running. So similarly on the emotional side also, you have to keep like put in those practice sessions uh, and then then you will build that emotional intelligence muscle as well. So yeah, and that, now you have to keep in mind also deep. I mean, your your emotional intelligence is fairly high. I mean, when we were when when you were talking about how you're you're really managing your team and helping to lead your team and through the thought processes, look, there's a lot of of managers who who just wouldn't be willing to do that. Right. So right. Let, let's let's be honest. Uh, let's be honest about that. I think, Lo, that that one of one of the, the the ways that people can really see that they're making progress, that that they're building muscle, is I think when when they when they're able to to see their thoughts, mm-hmm. when they're when they're able to see how the these thoughts are are, are affecting them in their actions and, and and in their choices that they make, yeah. and when they're able to intercept those thoughts and choose something different. Mm-hmm. I mean, what what does that do to 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 those thoughts as a whole? I mean, right. they're not really real. Yeah, they're yeah. they're basically what what we what what we make up in the moment. And I, I think for most people, that that's a really kind of a stunning realization. From oh, this is just a thought that I that I that I've been having. This isn't really any more important than than that. And I can choose what I want to do in in the moment. And I think even though. You know, I, I think that that working on, uh, on on emotional intelligence is a lifelong yeah. thing. In other words, I don't think anybody has reached their full emotional intelligence plateau. So yeah. you, you can you can always work on it. I yeah. think, at least speaking from personal experience, I, I think the most powerful thing for me was just understanding. You know, that thought was just a thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was able to deal with that thought and I was able to choose something that was, that, that was more powerful for me in, in the moment. Yeah. And that's really cool. Yeah. Most of the times it's the judge that is sitting on your yeah. shoulder, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, while we are discussing to, for the viewers to understand it better, better, would you be able to give a specific example of one of the saboteurs or like I said, my saboteur was overachiever and how I turned it right. around. So any specific example uh, how how it works and how it turns around on the angel side? Yeah, sure. So so you use you you were generous enough to give us your your experience. So I'll give you I'll, I'll give you mine. So one of my uh, saboteurs is is people pleaser. So I am really happy when other people. Are, are happy and part of right. part of my, my my gift part of what what makes me unique as, as 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 a person is is that I like to create that harmony. Right. Uh, I'm, I I love sort of the easygoing nature of 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 life and 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 most people would look at me and say ah oh, you know Chris is a, uh, Chris is the guy who 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 we give really the, the really stressful things to because mm-hmm. he's going to handle them with calm. Right. 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 So uh, now. So, so, so like you with your hyperachiever, I mean, there's a kind of a positive with, with me and, and my desire to find harmony in situations, right? But where, where it doesn't serve me is uh, when, when I need to, to, to speak up sometimes and let my own opinions be heard. Uh, when, if my opinions differ from other people's opinions, Mm -hmm. that can sometimes be a challenge. That can be where my, my saboteur kicks in and says, oh, well, just settle down, be a bit quiet. This is starting to get, this is starting to get a little bit dangerous here. You know, don't, don't, don't progress too far. So, uh, and, and so, so the, the, the philosophy that, um, that Shrizad has uh, it is about first the the identification. So I'm there with that. I've got that. So I've identified. All right, here's my little devil. Right, he's there. And then so the the really the first step is is avoiding that uh, saboteur from taking over. And mm-hmm. and how we do that, it's it's really a, a pretty simple shift in in focus. So we change our focus away 
from those thoughts, the th saboteur thoughts, and we move it into something else. And that it's a sharp focus on something else. That can be anything, to be honest with you. It could be mm -hmm. just on our breathing. It could be on some item that's that's on our desk. It can be on, you know, the the eyebrows of the person who who were who were looking at that seem a little bit long. It can be anything, and any anything like that. It, exactly to shift ourselves out of that, and then from there, once we're out of that pattern then it's a matter of okay so so what do I want to choose if I if I go into sage now I have a few options so I can I can choose let's say I can choose empathy I can empathize with myself in the moment maybe it's a little bit too much at the moment to speak up maybe I'm, I need to build my muscle a little bit there uh -huh. so I can empathize with myself so that's that's one way of doing it uh, if my muscle is a little bit stronger then what I'm what I might want to do is sort of jump into an activate so I'm going to speak up. I'm going to raise my hand and say, yes, this is what I think. And this is why I think that that's true. So and it's, and it's really, I mean, that's, that strategy is the same, not only for a people pleaser, saboteur, it's the same for hyperachiever. It's the same for, for anything. So it really starts with uh, identification and then a shift in focus and then a choice. Right. How do we want to deal with the situation now? Because we have a few options available to us. Depending on, on on strength. I mean, if you if you took me uh, uh, even maybe you know a, a, a few years earlier and said, okay, well, Chris, you've got to go up and speak in front of this audience of, of two hundred people. That would be a pretty big weight. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that I would be ready to pick up that that weight right. at, at that moment. So mm -hmm. I have to choose. I can choose some other parts of my sage to activate in the moment where I'm still, uh, you know, my, my emotions are still, are still supporting me in, in, you know, in, in a, in a loving way. Uh -huh. So, yeah. And that's, it's as, it's as simple as that. Right. Makes it's sense. as simple as that. Yeah. And uh, it's funny, like what you said, I'm exactly on the opposite end, you know, I'm like never afraid to express my opinions. So like when I did this, I became aware that I have to hold myself when I'm expressing an opinion because I might come too strong. There are people who are not uh, that open or that not comfortable to express that opinion. Sometimes it might be taken in a negative sense and they might not be able to counter my opinion. I'm open, yeah. but sometimes I might not convey it that I'm open to uh, hear the opinions back, right? Now, imagine if a group of executives or a group of team, everyone has taken this course. So everyone is self-aware of their individual saboteurs. Mm -hmm. How much harmony that group would this coach after the coaching, how much harmony that team would create? Because everyone is now aware of maybe each other's saboteurs, the way of thinking. And I think they would everyone would succeed as a team and as a company and in their individual grow, uh, goals as well as their company goals i think that's that's the point where we meet uh, together yes uh, absolutely that's ex extremely well said deepa and i think in in your i mean you you can probably even just just reflect and on your on your own experience of how this this awareness because a lot of people don't have that awareness yes how this awareness of oh what I'm doing is going to affect somebody else in, in, in this way. What, what about that? What is it? What am I to do with that? That yeah. that's a win win for everybody. There's a it's, lot of people who just bulldoze their way through. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you, you know, and, right. and that's more common. Yes. To, to do that. So they don't even recognize how they're, uh, how they're hurting their, their, their relationship with their team, how they're right. hurting their company. They, yeah. That's not even something they're aware of. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I totally agree with you. This training is absolutely useful for that. Yeah. Okay, great. So uh, give our audience some details, how to sign up if someone is interested as a group or as an individual. And uh, Chris has been generous to offer some discount for our listeners for our channel. So if you are listening through YouTube channel, uh, you can use a code to register for yourself. So Chris would share the details for that. Yeah, so the code that we're using is CPA, CPA 2022. And that gives you, a, a listener of this channel, uh, a 60% discount from well, the regular that's, price. That's awesome, yeah. 
60% discount. So, and how you register, I have a page on my website and maybe, um, maybe Deepa can just share that in, in, in the notes yeah. uh, where it's just a link where you can go, you can learn more about the course. Yes. And, and there's a place where you can check out what, what, what the course dates are and see mm -hmm. if, if there's a date that fits for you. And you, you can sign up. If you have any questions, you can just send me an email and, and just let me know what that is. And I'll see if I can help you. And, and we just go from there. It's very, very simple. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, it was great uh, talking to you, Chris. And I would urge everyone to uh, take a step and it's it's very easy to enroll in a technical course and like sign up like 300 400 webinar that type of technical learning i would urge you to invest uh, in this to take your uh, emotional intelligence to a higher level you would be surprised at the amount of growth or just in your personal or in your team handling uh, way of thinking it happens and uh, it's it's definitely worth it so uh, i would say say take a step to build your emotional intelligence muscle it's it's worth it uh, so that's it please like share subscribe to the youtube channel and once again thank you chris so much for giving your time and uh, sharing the awesome uh, information about this pq course Thank yeah, thanks so much, Deepa. Really appreciate the opportunity. Looking forward to doing it again sometime. Appreciate yes, that. Yes, sure, sure. Great. Thank, thank you. Bye.